Hi, it's Neil's Han Dynasty once again, coming to you live from the basement. Yeah, belches and all, burps, whatever. <clears throat> Buy some silver and some platinum. Yeah, yeah, the price is going to fall, just like everything else. It's going to come up, unlike everything else. Certain other stocks will, a lot of them will take a good decade to come back after a big crash but anyhow that's not what this this is good news this is awesome news unfortunately it's also very bad news if you want to support Biden uh, but this is about Africa and what should be good news I think it's great news uh, that I doubt other people will be bringing this news to you again I don't know I don't have I mean I do obviously I have a TV but I don't have like cable I don't have antenna ears. I don't have. I don't watch local news. I don't watch. I got Hulu and and fucking Disney. I don't watch shit because they it's shit, basically. So this, that's how I get my news. So it's like if you've heard this before, you know, hey, go somewhere else. <laughs> Here it is. It's great news though, in my opinion. This is the Africa that we are talking about every now and then. As you see, the Somalians have discovered oil. These are the villagers. But this is not for the first time for the Africans, especially the villagers to discover resources. But remember last year, the Congolese uh, villagers have discovered the mountain of God. But uh, at the end of the day, we didn't hear what the government had decided. And uh, uh, we, uh, according to our behavior, we will take these resources to the hands of other people, what we call investors. I have no doubt with investors, but we need the people who discovered these resources also to be involved in extracting these resources. So uh, this is very fantastic, very amazing. And I said every now and then, Africa is the continent of opportunity. Everywhere where you are, understand that Africa is the resources africa itself is the resources so today we have seen uh, the somalians are discovered you're not only somalians uh, but also everywhere in the african because sometimes we are not publishing our, <coughs> our, our this uh information but all in all there are so good information in the continent of africa. even now and then the people of africa have been discovering their resources and i i want to tell you that uh, for instance, like this place, this is the Oraborendi in Africa. There is a natural tree here, not planted tree, natural trees. There is everything that you need to uh, to grow in Africa are here in the continent of Africa. So what I want to say is that the people who have acquired education and power, politically and economically, let us invest in this continent. We are talking about the shortage of oil. Already our brothers in Somalia discovered oil. We are talking about the shortage of food. We have this kind of horrible end here like this. What we need is to wait for this. And I want uh, the educated people in this continent, professionals, to show your professionalism in making sure that you bring changes to our mother continent. So let me uh, hand it here for today. But what I was intended to show you is this uh, wonderful discovering of oil. So all in all, wherever you are, Africa is a continent of opportunity. Thank you. I think that's great news, man. I, uh, I'm inspired to fly down there and give them, give them some money, if I had any, <laughs> if I could afford a plane ticket. But anyhow, you guys have a nice day. And man, it's, it's great news if you come across any money, man. Uh, India is a more uh, sophisticated investment opportunity because they actually have companies, startups, all this other stuff. They're, they're emulating the, the American model. But uh, Africa is even a, uh, more risky because you're going more local, and local is kind of scary down there, especially in Somalia. But, you know, change. It's got to come, man. They, they can't always be... Uh, the NSA did a study back in the 80s on the Middle East, and it showed that if... Uh, a Middle Easterner made less than twelve hundred dollars U.S. dollars a year in their country, which is a decent amount. Not really, but it's I mean it's not like over here at twelve hundred dollars a year. It's more than probably like fifteen to twenty thousand a year. But uh, they showed that they, uh, if they made less than twelve hundred dollars a year, they would uh, resort to 
radicalizing or be more inclined to it. And then same thing in Africa for small. I mean, if you don't have enough money, you do what you got to do for money, you know. And with what you feel is best for your country, I guess. You know, I'm not there. I don't know. But uh, is is it the way you bring change? Is is you know through economy, bring them hospitals, bring them you know things that could benefit their lives. They have oil, so there's lots of disconnects, which makes for great risk filled but great investment opportunity the the risk part is if the locals actually want it and as you saw it said make Africa great again they obviously want to follow a path that brings their country's economic freedom from you know colonialists that were there and uh, I support that but I don't have any money but if, if anyone else does I hope this was an interesting thing it was from a, a news channel that is, uh, I've never seen before, but that's cool, because uh, that probably means it didn't make mainstream news. <laughs> you guys have a nice night.